Hi, welcome to the Martial Arts Business Academy. My name is John Hine. Hope you've had a great week and you're doing really, really well. Today we're going to talk about using referrals. It's okay to be really clever at marketing. I mean, we're always involved in doing big marketing launches and things like that. But sometimes it's low tech and offline that works best. So one of those referrals if you've got a couple of hundred students, or even if you've only got a few students, maybe you could offer a really good referral package where you get free lessons, which is obviously better because it's actually not costing you any money, and you're only giving your time and effort, which you're already giving anyway. But also you can offer money rewards as well. But referring people who have already come to your class. We found out a while ago that when we looked at our database certain people were coming from one or two particular streets so we looked on those streets and in one particular street there was actually four people or four families were actually training in one of us in one of our schools that came from the same street they didn't actually know each other so what we did was we gave those people leaflets and asked them very politely in a very friendly way, could you do the leafleting for us? Just pop it in your neighbours, just all do a few each. And they did. And it's amazing how many people we got from just doing it. So if you could actually go into your database, find out where all your students live, and quite often you'll find that they come in clusters. They're either clustered in a street, or they're clustered in, they work in the same business, in the same company, or they work in the same hospital if they're doctors, or they work in the same insurance company. Really have a look. It's not going to cost you a penny to do this. And just ask if you can get a poster in those companies. Ask the people just to talk about coming to your school. It's very low tech, but sometimes it works brilliantly well. Some of the classes have got like half the people actually come from the same company or from the same street or that all their kids go to the same school. So it really works, really works well for you if you know a lot about your students. Okay, that's all this week, but that's a biggie. Everything I tell you, I've used, or my friends have used, or my clients have used, and I only tell you things that work 90% of the time. Obviously, can't give you a 100% guarantee, because I don't live where you do, I don't know your business, Every area is different, especially if you live in the States, where it's such a vast area that even from one state to the next, it's like big, big differences. In fact, in one major city, where I had different schools, I noticed that each school had a different characteristic. They all liked different things, they all read different books, watched different TV programs, wanted to hear different things about what I taught. So you have to know about your school. Find out what people want. Use your own internal PR. Find out what their likes and dislikes, what they think is good, what they think is bad, just in a casual way. So it's a really good idea to have lots of social events because people tend to drop their defenses and actually tell you the truth. Because as we all know, people just tell you quite often what you want to hear. Whereas in a nice relaxed atmosphere, or just in a class, just casually walk up to someone you know, be very friendly, what you like, and ask them if they enjoyed that particular lesson, what lessons do they enjoy more than others, and just keep your ear to the ground and find out what people want. Then they will start to fashion the way you actually teach your classes. So that means you'll keep them longer. Then they'll be more excited about coming to train with you, and they'll refer you to other people. Okay, for today, have a really good week. I hope you're doing really well. You take care. Bye.